simple example, um, example four, the graph below depicts energy versus reaction progress for a reaction with no enzyme present. Sketch a graph that would represent the same reaction with enzyme present. So we start out here with the reactants, then get to the transition state. And the difference here in this energy, free energy, is the energy of activation. Then the reaction occurs, products are formed. Notice that the free energy of the products is lower than the free energy of the reactants. So therefore, this is actually going to have a negative delta G, and this is an exergonic reaction just as some extra information. Now, remember that enzymes lower the activation energy. Lower the activation energy. They don't change the overall delta G. So what I would expect the catalyzed reaction to look like is something like this. You have no way of knowing exactly how much the activation energy is. Let's move this stuff out of the way. How much the activation energy is going to be lowered, but you know that it will be lower. And it just asks for a sketch, so just the idea. Now, the other thing that you know is that the delta G is not going to be changed. So this is the reaction when enzyme is present. The activation energy has been lowered. The original activation energy was that high. The activation energy for the catalyzed reaction is just right here. The delta G, if I measure the G of the products minus the G of the reactants, is unchanged. I haven't changed the reaction. So this shows the catalyzed reaction. Thank you for visiting educator.com, and I'll see you again soon.